What are Minecraft glow squids in real life? Here, we see glow squids in the deep ocean, just minding their business. And in real life, we see another type of squid, lurking in the dark corners of the ocean, that sparkle blue. To solve this mystery and theory, let's study the properties of Minecraft glow squids. Glow squids were added to Minecraft after winning in a mob vote. The vote was a bit controversial, but anyways, they're in the game now, and their glowing ink sacs can be used to make glowing item frames and signs. Obviously, they glow. There are two ways creatures can produce light. The most common and known way is bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is light naturally produced by a chemical reaction within a living organism. Bioluminescence is achieved by the reaction of certain chemicals, but there is also just fluorescence. It's when a creature glows after it has absorbed light. While bioluminescence requires both oxygen and energy, fluorescence makes light with no energy cost. Here is a representation of fluorescence in action. Imagine an ultraviolet light hitting an electron. This excites the electron, causing it to move to a higher energy level. Electrons further away from the nucleus have more energy. Eventually, like a kid who's eaten too much sugar, they experience a sugar crash. The electron loses its energy and becomes tired, returning back to its lower energy level. When it moves back, it emits the excess energy as visible light again. Scorpions, for example, are fluorescent. Back to the Minecraft glow squid. Does it use bioluminescence or fluorescence? There are typically two ways creatures can create their own light. One way is that creatures can produce the chemicals needed to create light by themselves. Fireflies, for example, create their own light. The light in fireflies is typically created in the lower abdomen. The other way creatures produce light is to let bacteria do the work for them. Anglerfish, for example, have a little glowing bulb here called the esca, and it's used to lure in unsuspecting victims. Bacteria inside are the ones that actually produce the light. Which way does the Minecraft glow squid create light? Well, most of Earth's bioluminescence actually happens in the ocean. To understand bioluminescence, let's study it at the molecular level. There are two bioluminescent enzymes at play, luciferin and luciferase. These are organic molecules produced in the cells of a bioluminescent creature. When the two chemicals luciferin and luciferase mix together, they create light. Oxygen also has to be present nearby, along with ATP, the energy molecule. Together, a chemical reaction forms, creating light. The chemical process is different in many bioluminescent creatures, which leads to different potential colors of light. Some animals glow green and some blue. The Minecraft glow squid glows a neon blue color. Why would Minecraft glow squids bother to glow? Doesn't it seem counterintuitive to glow, potentially attracting predators? I know glow squids don't technically glow or emit any light in Minecraft, but stay with me here. There are many creatures that use light to their advantage for a diverse range of reasons. Fireflies, for example, use light to attract mates. They flex their light to find love. This creates beautiful scenes if you can find them in a big group at night. The anglerfish uses light as bait to eat unsuspecting prey. The prey doesn't realize what's happening until it's too late. Other surprising examples are that some species of plankton can glow, which hopefully scares off creatures that would like to eat them. These plankton also glow to signal to other creatures to eat the creatures trying to eat them, the plankton. Some species of shrimp can spew out luminescent clouds, which give them enough time to run away. Minecraft glow squids squirt out glowing ink too, so they also have glowing ink. But why do Minecraft glow squids create light then? We listed a bunch of potential reasons. So to come up with a theory, let's figure out what glow squid is in real life. To find out the answer, we will need to go to the shores of Japan. It is here where we can find the Hataru Ika, otherwise known as the Firefly Squid. As I've just said, these Firefly Squids are found on the shores of Japan. They like to stay in the dark depths near the ocean. Every once in a while, millions of Firefly Squids gather to mate off the coasts of Japan. It's a very beautiful blue fireworks show. Firefly squids are a seasonal delicacy in Japan, one of the only bioluminescent creatures you can eat in real life. Unfortunately, glow squids aren't as delectable as the real life equivalent. Who thinks that calamari should be a thing in Minecraft? It would give the squids more uses besides just for ink sacs. Maybe some glowing calamari would be good as well. But anyways, firefly squids are actually very tiny in real life. They are only 3 inches in length. 
This is a comparison of their correct sizes. You might be wondering why the Minecraft Glow Squid is relatively big compared to the tiny Firefly Squid. For some reason, tiny mobs like bees and spiders are much bigger in Minecraft. This is similar to when the Earth had a lot more oxygen 300 million years ago, leading to the rise of big insects. This somehow could explain why Minecraft creatures are so big. This also applies to the glow squid. Something had made all the tiny creatures in Minecraft bigger. Let's continue studying the firefly squid. Firefly squids at first glance look like your average squid, albeit a bit smaller. You can see the spots where the glowing is actually taking place. The reason why they look like they have glowing blue freckles is because they have tiny light producing things called photophores. This is probably what the glowing blobs on the surface of Minecraft glow squids are. What happens in these photophores is that luciferin reacts with the enzyme luciferase and light is produced. We can assume glow squids use the exact same process in these blobs on their surface. Since Minecraft glow squids drop ink sacs that glow too, the chemicals luciferin and luciferase have somehow gotten into the ink sac. The chemicals also continue to glow somehow when on an item frame or sign still. There are many potential reasons for why firefly squids glow. Scientists have hypothesized that it's for communication, camouflage, or attracting mates. When the firefly glows, it helps the glow squid match with the brightness of the surface of the sea. Things that swim underwater leave a shadow beneath them, making them easy targets. Firefly squids might also glow to attract mates. An interesting thing I noticed about glow squids is that when you punch them, they darken for a few seconds in Minecraft. This could imply that they stop glowing to try to hide somehow. But I'll let you decide. Do you think glow squids glow to attract mates, to hide, to camouflage, or maybe even for an entirely different reason? Glow squids might actually be firefly squids that grew very big. Or maybe glow squids were some experiment done by people from long ago, learning genetics in Minecraft or something. Scientists have been able to implant glowing genes in some types of fish and even plants. Cells with the DNA create the luciferin and luciferase that creates the glow. Maybe ancient people implanted glowing genes into regular squids to make them glow, playing around with genetics for whatever their motivation was. Perhaps they were trying to tinker with life, creating all sorts of weird creatures in the process. Perhaps ghasts are a descendant of glow squids in Minecraft, who knows? Who knew the glow squid, a seemingly cute but mostly useless creature, might have a very complicated origin story? So, are Minecraft glow squids real life firefly squids? Judging by all of the similarities between them, I would argue yes. This also reveals how the Minecraft glow squid works and maybe its mysterious background story. Do you agree with this theory and science? Thanks for watching and consider subscribing.